ornaments from gardens across the country. And look at this. Wouldn't you love this at your home? You have a Christmas tree and then you have all this beautiful plants surrounding it. According to Google Maps, the U.S. Botanical Garden is about five minutes away. Oh my god, it's such a cold day, but it's the only day I could go. But yeah, so we'll get there soon. Welcome to my Oasis Live and maybe episode 7 of Plentiful Vlogmas. We are at the U.S. Botanical Garden right now. I am at the Tropics Exhibit and this is a ficus. <laughs> but yeah, so we're going to tour the Tropics Exhibit and they also have a Christmas exhibit right here at the U.S. Botanical Garden which is why I stopped by but I see they also have their Tropics Exhibit open and I saw a lot of interesting plants. It's very small compared to the other botanical gardens that I've been to. But there's some very interesting plants, like I saw the Hoya Philippines, something that I've been looking for for a long time and I finally saw it here. They actually had a lot of species from the Philippines and in Southeast Asia and it's amazing some of the species that I saw and I saw I like a tomatophyllum, the tomatophyllum like in fully form, grown mature and oh my god, that is crazy. I don't think my plant would ever get that big but it's nice to see how could they look like in the wild. So yeah, we're going to continue touring the U.S. Botanical Garden and see what else that we can find while we're here. Hoya imbricata, native to the Indonesia and the Philippines. We've got this beautiful peach palm and some Calavia mosaica from Brazil. And here's a peacock plant also from Brazil. And this one, the ficus oblica, look at that leaf structure. That's amazing. We have got some fitonia over here. Like people are throwing coins on the pond. Look at that. Like the Anthurium radicans, also from Brazil. Uh, look at that one. And that's this looks like the lipstick plant 
and it's from Borneo and that's its scientific name and you got a fern over here cool. Amorphophallus titanium, titan arum from Sumatra, Indonesia. And look at that stem. Uh, leaves all the way. But the interesting part really is the stem and the variegation on it. And we got some interesting philodendrons over there. And like over there, this I think Colladius. Ornaments from gardens across the country and look at this Wouldn't you love this at your home? You have a Christmas tree and then you have all this beautiful plants Surrounding it. That's a good idea, right? To decorate with your house plants and your Christmas tree instead of presents You'll just have the Christmas tree and then the house plants underneath it Some air plants over here Really beautiful ones Here you have the red ivy, native to Indian and Java. But if you look at the leaves, it has the silvery sheen to it. That's really pretty that you don't see in common ivies. So this is the Hoya that I've been looking for. Hoya Pazaya, that is native to the Philippines. And look at that. This is the house plant that I've been looking for, or the type of Hoya that I've been looking for. And look at how quickly it trails. Ooh, I want one. Not sure if this is the Hoya Publicalic Speckle, but it looks similar. Oh, it says it's the Dracaena Gold Dust Dracaena. Hmm. And this ficus, the narrow leaf fig, native to Southeast Asia in the Philippines. And it's this huge humongous tree right here. And over here, of course, the coveted Anthurium that everyone wants, and it's right here. Not doing so well though, but it still looks pretty. Like they have a really good leaf over here. And I think over there is a Cebu Blue Puffles. It looks like it, but it's not labeled, so I'm not quite sure. The Bat Leaf Fashion Flower from Mexico and South America. Look at this. It's a very unique leaf. It's kind of like a Siamese Twins leaf that has just like, oh, look at that. It's such a unique shape. And I guess that's why it's called the bat wing. Wow, that's really cool. And this is another cool looking foliage. Not sure what it is because it's not labeled, but like a smaller leaf look like this, so I could put it in the frame. But I'm guessing it's some, some type of philodendron. But that looks really cool too. And over here we had the Maranca Grandiofolia, the coral tree from the Philippines. I'm guessing it's this one because it says it's a tree. But we also just have really unique variegations here and plant species there's like an arrowhead shape i think it's an alocasia and this one looks really cool with its circular foliage it's almost like a pilea it might be in the same family i'm not really sure but that looks really cool and got an alocasia with this purple and pink speckles that looks really cool i think that is the oh it's a caladium bicolor angel wings originally from south america that looks really cool and over here we have some beautiful orchids and air plants that looks like really amazing and of course the good old pothos so as i was saying earlier we also rudely imparted by loud kids <laughs> but, but yeah look at how thick those stems are and the aerial roots of this tree i think it's a philodendron it is it's a oh my god it's a philodendron bipinatophytum so I think this has been classified to a thematophyllum bipinatophytum and of course my thematophyllum bipinatophytum is nowhere near this big or this large but this is what it can grow to be in the wild with those really large stems and as you can see they probably chopped off a lot of leaves from it already but look how big those leaves are and look how big this one is.
here. This white one. Look at this orchids. They're so small. And they're native to the Philippines and Taiwan. But look at them. really unique looking ones over here and that one over here mm -hmm. look at these all different kinds of poinsettias and we have like a poinsettia wall over here
headed to Blue Bottle. It's like a cafe that I think was originally LA based. I often hear about it from this one YouTuber that I always watch, um, Mikael. And I just want to see what they have. I mean, it's a coffee shop. I'm pretty sure it's standard, no different than Starbucks. But just want to check it out and see what they have. There it is, Blue Bottle Coffee. Sure, what's the hype about because it looks so plain, but I guess they're minimalistic. <laughs> like a pretty bougie place but I guess any LA trash by PC will still be bougie and I lost my debit card which is crazy I think I lost it when I got the hot chocolate I don't think I remember to take it from the barista at the coffee shop at the botanical gardens whenever I travel it's without fail that I will lose something either my wallet my phone and my debit card and luckily it's just my debit card and not my entire wallet because that will be terrible to replace but anyways I cancelled the card and ordered a new one already so if it got picked up then they can't use it anymore and I'm gonna get a new one after Christmas it just sucks that between now and after Christmas I won't be able to use the card I just hope it arrives before I leave for Florida because it would really suck to be without it when I travel to Florida I'm just gonna drink my matcha and then I'm gonna head over to the Phillips collection since there's a book swap posted by the Brightest Young Things. They had it last fall but I missed it so I kind of want to go to that one now. This is the book that I'm gonna go swap at the book swap. If you haven't read this, it's a really good book. It's a historical YA on World War II. A forgotten history in World War II. It's about East Europeans that were sent into Siberia's concentration camp during tourist dance of World War II. So basically like people already thought, oh Hitler is dead, World War II is done, but there's still like people in concentration camps and they were like long forgotten and they were like in shit cold Siberia. And this is a really good YA book to read. I highly recommend it between Shades of Grey and the reason I'm, I'm book swapping it is because I just want to spread this book around and if I ever want to read it I could just like order it from my library or read it online so I'm good but I highly recommend this book and if you haven't read it yet but yeah I guess I'm just like chilling at the coffee shop now here at Blue Bottle and I'm gonna head over to the Phillips collection in a little bit after I finish my matcha I haven't eaten lunch but I figured there's gonna be refreshments at this thing and then I'll just eat at home because I don't really want to spend a lot of money I mean as is by just like buying the hot chocolate, this matcha, and then my metric card, I already spent like $20. So, yeah, but we will see. That building had like a beautiful green wall, and I tried to take like just a one minute, not even a one minute video, like a two second video, and it told me I can't take any pictures or photos. I'm like, typical DC. 4 58 p.m. and this is how cold it is right now it's 30 degrees Ugh. yeah i didn't have time to document it just because it's so freaking cold but i've noticed there's so much more hipster cafes now in dc we're turning into la but without the good weather circle and we're pretty close to the Phillips collection now <sighs> it's so cold I've been walking for a mile in this cold I don't know how I did it but I am doing it and we're almost there We're here. All right, we we're here. We made it. I'm just gonna go inside and get warm. So we're heading upstairs for the book swap. 
but I need to go to the restroom first. But yeah, they told me to go up and I should find it here. Alright. Alright, I need to use the restroom first. Hello, man. The Paris one. I think I've heard about this book. This is a good one. Paris one for nonfiction. And chocolate table books. It's cute. I think I've read, I heard about this book. I read that book, I like that one. 2 a.m. at the top of the canvas. Alright. So I'm at the Flames collection. I'm at the book swap right now. I already grabbed like three books like Wild by Cheryl Street. I haven't read the book. I haven't finished watching the movie actually, but I've always wanted to read this book. So I got this one, and this one actually empty, so it's just a plain notebook, but even though I already got a 2020 planner, I figured I could still use this for doodles and stuff. And I got this one, The Astrology of You and Me. I am not really much into astrology, and it's not exactly a coffee book, but I figured this is a good decor for the house, or for my room, so I'm getting it. But yeah, there's a lot of other books that I could pick up, but I try not to grab too much because I only brought one book and I kind of like want to give other people a chance to pick through the book. But it's white outside And the night is cold Everyone's lighting candles in their homes Yes, it's Christmas It's a magic time You can feel it in the air That every child Got their hearts filled up With joy Yes, it's Christmas Oh Snow is falling down All the colored lights Lighting up this town And as I walk outside Hear the Christmas choir sing Merry Christmas to you 